<laughs> Two days full day training by me only. <laughs> you know, you are coming here. I think uh, that is what is called the appetite to learn. Amazing. That's so nice to see you. Excellent. Hello, Hemal and Damini. And Hemant is also here. Very good evening, Preeti. That's so nice to see Sahil. Great. Very good evening. There are many people who have mentioned it in the chat box too. Very good evening, Damini. Yes. Okay. If Wow. What a pleasure to have you, Anuj, in the session today. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rita. And Vaishali, I can see Dikka. Excellent. So, hi, Alakshita. That's so nice to see you here joining once again. Okay, so very warm welcome to all of you. Those, uh, you know, I can see some of you are already the participants of uh, ProTouch who have already done a certification courses, as well as there are some new people are here. So I would like to know who all are here who are attending the session for the first time at ProTouch. Just write first in the chat box so that I will get to know that you are attending first time, right? Okay, so Damini is here, Vaishali is here, who are then I think Tanya is here, who is attending for the first time. Vandana is here, wonderful. Sahil is saying that I'm here for the first time. Amazing. And I'm telling you that you will keep coming <laughs> because that is what is the, uh, maybe the blessings we have, our team has, that once we get connected, certainly we get connected for very pretty long time. And we always say that we will be with you till the time you block us. <laughs> okay, so that's our promise because we have Thursday sessions always where we do a lot of knowledge sharing, right? So those who are coming for the first time, I would like to know from where did you get to know about this webinar? Damini? Uh, can, can I unmute and talk to you? Yeah, yeah, you can, certainly, yes. Okay, so I am actually about to enroll in the corporate trainer course okay. that's uh, on this weekend. That's how you are here. Okay, yeah. that's and, wonderful. And my mom also uh, did a course with you of, of Porsche training. You might know her. Seema. Generations, generations. Yeah. Now, now I'm feeling a little old here. <laughs> okay, that's wonderful to know. That's wonderful to know. Anuj is also here. Yes, Anuj has recently done a program. Very nice. So how many of you are corporate trainers? So let me know in the chat box. Just put I in the chat box so that I will get to know that I am already a corporate trainer. I'm conducting the session. Yes, Hemal is there. And, you know, Divya, Juhi. Very nice to have you, Juhi, Smita, Sony. Right. Okay. Wonderful. Rahul is here. <laughs> nice to have you here. Okay. Great. Freelance trainer, you're already here. Wonderful. Excellent. And how many are of you are aspired to become a trainer? Just write A in the chat box. Why I'm asking you? Because, you know, that helps me. So Tanya is aspiring. Okay. Financial coach, but not yet started. Okay. Hemant, you will start very soon. <laughs> okay. Vaishal is saying. Rita is saying. Okay. Aspiring. Very nice. Aspiring. Okay. That's wonderful to know everyone. So, you know, what topic we will be taking today, you know, uh, some of the trainers said how to develop the case studies during the training session. So some people are new over here, everyone. So, uh, of course, it's very important for me to introduce myself and let me quickly introduce myself, everyone. I'm Dr. Aparna Sethi. I come with 20 plus years of experience. However, I always introduce myself that I experience almost 17 years of labor pain in various labor rooms. That is marketing, sales, teaching, uh, training, and many more. And after that, I delivered a baby called ProTouch. As you know, to become a parent or deliver a baby, you need two people. Without that, it is not possible. So... The father of ProTouch is also here, that is Rahul Sethi, and I am Aparna. And yes, in this journey, uh, I've been able to perform various roles like HR, coaching, training. There are a lot of other 
certifications I have done and I use these certification during my training program. And also blessed with awards and rewards by many institutions for my work in diversity and inclusion everyone. In this journey, I've also published three books, that is Where to Draw the Line, Complicated Relationships at Workplace, The Art of Online Presentation, and Diversity and Inclusion, Meaning to Major, major Men. I personally conduct a lot of training programs in the area of POSH, DNI, emotional intelligence, leadership, and many more. We at ProTouch deliver a lot of sessions to corporates uh, which are very customized, okay? So there are two kinds of program, as you know, there are some signature programs, signature programs where your curriculum is fixed. And then we, on the way, we edit and whatever changes are required, we make the changes and deliver the training sessions. Like for example, HR generalist, HR analytics, Pause train the trainer as well as CTF, that is train the trainer. Just a minute, huh? Okay, so these are the programs are also there. Train the trainer um, and coaching, right? So even though the framework is fixed, right? But the content as well as, you know, on the way we change, but not much. But corporate training program are different, which are very, very customized. Can anybody tell me what do I mean by customized training programs? You can unmute yourself and let me know. Designed as Hi, Lakshmi. Yeah, designed as yes. the need of the client. Uh, yes, Deepika. So as Deepika said it rightly, as you know, every industry is different. Every organization is different, right? Every organization goal is different. And hence, they also require different kind of skill set, right? Even skill gap is different. Like, for example, if one company says want to deliver a training session on leadership, right? For them, Neha, ne okay, so every company's leadership requirement is also different. Am I making sense here, everyone? Like, for example, few companies and clients which we have handled in the past, one company is like, our leaders have become complacent because the company is very old and now we want them to become more accountable, right? Because when you're working for 12 years, 15 years with the company, business is also coming, everything is happening, then there is a possibility that we become complacent. Am I making sense to all of you? So the training was, how can we make these leaders accountable? Topic is leadership only. Another topic under leadership, if, if I recall, was first-time leaders. Okay. So many times it, the program is like first-time managers, but nowadays in organization, they say first-time leaders. What do I mean by that? Recently, they have got a promotion. They are going to get promotion. Then what are the skill set they will need? Making sense? It's a leadership program, but the requirement is different. Are you, are you getting my point? And then what we do, we have a meeting with client. We understand their pain areas. We understand what is it that they want to achieve. And we design the program, everyone. And designing is the skill. Yes or no? I personally love designing the program because... You know, that is what is very important. How do you make that program relevant? Okay. Now, what is it that client expect from us? What, what do we mean by relevant? If someone can let me know, what do we mean by relevant training program? One the which is beneficial for the client. Meeting what do I mean by beneficial? I mean, when they will say that, okay, this is a relevant program. Uh, when the program which is needed for the employee. Meeting their requirements. The program which is addressing the pain points of the clients. Okay. So you have picked up that language. Wonderful. Pain areas of client. 
And you know, the right answer has come in the chat box, everyone. Alankshita has written, applicable in their own job roles and environment. How, you know, you will come one day, you deliver the program and you will go, but how we will make it relevant? How we will apply? Now, as a, as a trainer, what challenges you will face as a trainer, what challenges you will face while making these programs relevant? Imagine. Go ahead. Anyone can unmute and let me know. Like, as a trainer, Anyone, what yeah. challenges you will face? Nidhi? You want to say something? Because if you're not aware about those challenges, then it will be very difficult to have that client meeting also. Okay? And we need to know what challenges I may face. Go ahead, Juhi, please. Yeah. Uh, hi. First of all, sorry. I'm facing some technical issues, so not able to open my camera. Uh -huh. As far as the uh, challenges are concerned, the major challenges, many times the client themselves do not understand their pain areas. Okay, so, possible. So it becomes difficult to then suggest a relevant program. So as a trainer, it is sometimes important for us also to identify, help the clients identify their relevant program. Absolutely. Bang on. Sometimes clients also don't know. And you will be surprised. Because I will tell you, there are two kinds of clientele we come across when we have a training a meeting. You know, what are the clients? One types of clients are HR. And HR, if you look at it, l &D is a part of HR. It's a job. Part. They are not fully into that. Right? So their job requirements, job demands are completely different. And hence, sometimes we may get to see that there is a challenge of understanding what do they want to do. But some of them really well prepared. They... They have a stakeholder meetings, they understand what is it, and then they come, right? However, sometimes you may face a problem. Second kind of clients you will come across are L&D heads. Now their full-time job is learning and development. Making sense? They are trained in L&D, and hence they can also make a lot of sense. They prepare, they know how to do need analysis, and they know what outcomes they want. They are very clear on this. I still recall one client meeting which happened for, you know, went on for two hours. For what? That they were testing my knowledge. They were testing what are you going to cover. They were testing, you know, they were asking me, okay, Aparna, could you please open that presentation and let us know. I still recall that, you know, when they were talking about assertiveness, I said there are five techniques, four techniques I told them. And then the client said, which is the fifth one? I said, I'm not able to recall, but I have a YouTube video and it is mentioned there. Client asked, could you please open that YouTube video and show it to me? Please understand everyone. If you are a corporate trainer and if you are aspiring to become, every day you are going to have an interview and people are going to evaluate you. And every client meeting, you have to prove that, yes, I'm a good trainer. <laughs> that is going to happen everyone, right? So clients different. But let me tell you the biggest challenge which we face, and someone has written it very well, to Rachana has written, to understand different environments. Now, what do we mean by that? Even though I'm an external trainer going to the other corporate, I need to be the part of that company. They should not feel I'm an outsider. Are you getting my point, everyone? Yes or no? That means I need to understand what is the industry they are in. I need to understand what structures they are having. I need to understand their jobs. Hello, you need to understand their clients, customers. You need to understand how do they deliver the products. You also need to understand what are their maybe future plans. Like I was delivering a training session for one of the gaming industry. How gaming industry is going? What is that happening there? What are the skill sets are required in gaming industry? 
and what is the company's future plan like for example the biggest challenge in that company was you know the lnd head was telling me aparna our average age group in our company is 25 26 28 years old is a too old in the company and handling has become a team leader up uh, that person doesn't know what is ethics that person doesn't know what is coaching that person doesn't know anything are you getting my point everyone so what is their future plan they are developing the leaders for their company hey am, am i making sense let me know in the chat box is it too heavy how is it going because you know i'm telling you from my client experience perspective till here are you with me let me know in the chat box am i making sense to all of you here yes no you know okay all good you're saying thank you okay okay that's wonderful you know because i need that understanding right now also i'm trying to understand everyone here okay so now this is what we all need to have now as a trainer everyone we will have the kitty of activities basket of activities in basket what kind of activities we will have as a trainer to have it during our training session and then i'll take your question a little later yes what kind of activities we will have everyone those who are aspiring trainer want to become trainers I very good you is saying role plays yeah. uh, go ahead lakshit group discussions ma'am yes group discussion role plays game Please. simulation right some poster making activities some uh, digital activities some psychometrics Oh, 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 there are a number of activities, right? And case study is one of them, right? Case study is one of them. That one of the tools trainers use for training session. You were saying something? Storytelling, right? Storytelling, absolutely. And now today, we are going to look at one of the important tools that is case study. Is that fine with everyone, right? Because case studies becomes very important. But what do we mean by case study? Taking the past experience and uh, discussing about the same. How we okay. are the problem. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, making the other person relate to the things that we have experienced and make them learn from that. Okay. That's wonderful. So... Everyone, let's have, go to the fundamentals a little bit and then I will also get into the, uh, you know, how do you do this? So if you look at it, very simple definition is case study is an in-depth, detailed examination of a particular case or cases within the real world context, everyone. Okay. So this is what is the case study. Case studies we must have done during MBAs, BBAs, you know, majorly management education use case studies. And corporate training also use a case study in great ways, right? But now what happens here is, why, I mean, what are the benefits of using case study? Why do we need case studies? Anyone? To understand the scenario, Understand a scenario. Very good. Very good, Deepika. Yes. It's a real-time simulation of the different situations that can arise and easy to understand. Amazing. So it's a real-time situations, right? Which we say now that you actually put yourself in someone else's shoe and understand not what you will be doing, right? So that is great insight from Rohit. Yes. What, what are the benefits? Go ahead, Lalita. Go ahead. Yeah, actually, it is a, a, a live example or an experience which we are taking. We are not going into the same situation again. It is a it is something from where we can derive it and use their experience to our expertise. Absolutely. Yes, Alakshita. Go ahead. Uh, I think case study is a fantastic. Uh, Your voice is low. Huh? Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so it's a it's a tool for basically understanding uh, or you know a complete real life scenario that happened at the workplace or somewhere else, and what went right, what went wrong, and how we can learn from that experience and you know build on it and use Wonderful. that experience in in our own scenarios going forward. 
and probably Wonderful. make new policies around it. Great. Wonderful. That's a great insight. So let me take it from Malam. Preeti, go ahead. To improve the problem solving skills. Because wow. if you take it to a study, they will come with many solutions. Right. Everyone will have their own solutions. Very nice. So of course, as you said, that there is a problem solving, understanding, right? Everything. And in trainings, everyone, especially corporate training, we use case studies for making people understand business scenario, people management scenario, everything. Along with that, some model understanding also. Are you getting my point? Like, for example, if I want people to understand a skill will metrics, I will give a case and I will say, now tell me whether, you know, for example, Anuj is in which quadrant and what will you do with that? So what is happening? Not only to solve the problems and all, but also to make them understand models. and Right? Now let's understand it in more detail, everyone. That is, basically it is used for critical thinking, problem solving, application of knowledge, analysis. You know, we want to uh, boost discussion, questioning, challenging. Everything happens during case studies. Okay, and hence case study is one of the really great, uh, you can say, a tool which is used in corporate training programs. Right, everyone? Tell me one thing, you know, we may have people from academics also. Is there a difference between academic case studies and corporate training case studies? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Uh Academics uh, case study is more about like, because I teach both. I'm a professor also and I teach corporates also. So in, in what Great. I is is that when I'm teaching the students, it is more about question and answer. Students want solutions. Like once they do the case study exercise, they will ask and sir, so what was the solution over here? Like what is the right answer? What is the wrong answer? But when it comes to corporates, corporates like to discover the answer or rather I let them discover the answer and they have that aha moment. So that oh, is one, okay. one difference that I've noticed between both corporates and uh, students. Wonderful. However, Anuj, you know, what I'm trying to say here is you, you, I mean, you are given the different dimension here. That's a great thing to know. What is it that I'm trying to say here is the way you develop the cases in academics and in corporate training, there is a difference, right? What do we mean by that? Like, for example, in academics, because, you know, I've also spent a long time in academics and I published some of my case studies also. There, there is a method. There has to be a problem statement. There should be objective. Then there is, there is very important. There should be literature review should be done. A lot of things comes into the picture, right? But in corporate, we do not get into so many things, everyone, right? We are developing the case. Understand in corporate world also, or you will get a ready-made case studies available on Google also. Right. But now I'm not talking about those ready-made case studies. I'm talking about how will you develop your own case studies. The case study length is also not that much. Like, for example, sometimes it is one, one and a half page up because we don't get that much time in companies to have very long case studies. Am I making sense? And if there is a long case study, then we give it to them in advance. Let them read, they let them have complete analysis done and then they come to the training session. But that doesn't work in many times in corporate training because you go one day, two days and you come back. So you have very less time. So you cannot have very lengthy case study, but you can have one page or one and a half page. That goes very well. Is that fine? There is also another terminology here, everyone, called scenarios building. And there is again a difference. What can be the difference between case study and a scenario development? Scenario building could be a situation where, you know, you are picturizing or visualizing something and putting yourself or the person you're talking to in that situation. I may be wrong. No, no. Perfectly all right. Okay. Great. Anush? Uh, yeah, so uh, in scenario... I... In scenario... Yes, Damini, I, I get back to you. 
in scenarios basically you give them a simulation you give them a situation whereby you ask them to you know like a role play or you ask them to troubleshoot that situation so that is more of scenarios from my understanding in case studies more like you know you give them a like a, a real world situation or something that has already happened in the corporators that they are yeah okay damini uh i just uh, thought uh, that maybe case uh, case study is something that is a uh, actual scenario that has happened but scenario is something that you can uh, imagine and ask them to you know go along absolutely. with it absolutely now let me give you one example here okay and i will give you an example uh, like amrita will take a little later right example is like for example amrita i will come back to you thank you so much right so now for example let me give if i'm conducting a situation in a first time manager for example is the situation or a scenario scenario is for example you have one team member in your team right who is a great performer so let me put it right now we will do it okay so lakshit is in hr team lakshit performance for last 6 to 7 month was perfect however at the same time lakshit had a disciplinary issue that is coming late to office submitting report late to the managers how will you deal with lakshit are you getting my point here everyone i just created one scenario here short not giving you too much background of character not giving you too much lengthy things but i am saying now this is the scenario so if you are a manager how will you deal with this situation do you think that can be enough to stimulate your mind and give answers yes everyone let me know that is called scenario scenarios are generally very short we don't get too much into detailing and that is also a wonderful activity everyone okay so sometimes during training programs you know uh, for example if i'm conducting a sales training i will give five different kind of customer one customer is uh, comparing price with competition one customer is asking for the discount another customer is taking lot of time to make a decision another customer is you know for example asking maybe one more course free we don't know what is it so what am i doing these are the scenarios i have and i just give a name there is one customer called anuj he is expecting 30% discount however your manager said that you cannot give more than 20% discount how will you manage scenario short situation i hope i'm making sense to all of you here let me know in the chat box here this scenario is clear to all of you scenario is not case scenario is not case so you can use scenario scenarios can be used for role plays as anuj also said right one person become a customer one person become a sales person and it works wonderfully everyone very short very short the advantage of having scenarios during the corporate training program is you can take many scenarios you know if you want people to understand maybe say a communication model and you say okay what kind of communication it is now for example aparna said in this way right is it aggressive communication non aggressive communication passive communication <laughs> whatever it is so you can create many scenarios and make people practice however case study is long and takes time clear so developing scenario is comparatively easy job but developing case requires i i feel that's an art everyone but we are also in in you know i will say we are lucky <laughs> that we are also having a technology now and i will be also tell you training you today how you can use a technology now for developing case studies is that okay with everyone right so we will see the process and then i will say manually you how will you do it and while using technology how will you do it okay i'm excited <laughs> okay great because 30 minutes to go and i want to give you two insights now from here in work 
So everyone, when you are developing the case study, there are certain things which you have to keep it in mind. One is message. What message you want to drive through that case study? What point you want to make there? I'm going to give you examples. What is that big message you want to drive? Okay. Then, and it's a pen and paper job. I, I, I am a little that way, you know, little traditional way. But I take a pen and paper while developing the case studies. In that, you also need to understand the client. What do I mean by that? What is the industry they are in? Are they in cosmetics? Are they in pet care? Are they in airlines? Are they in chemical? Are they in microfinance? Are they in what? Industry understanding is very important. Second very important is a participant's understanding. For example, what kind of jobs they are doing? What are their designations? To whom are they reporting? What are the Maybe what kind of demo did they use in the corporate, in, in that work? Because if we want to make it relevant, my participant should not feel that, ah, what is she training about? I don't know. This is not our industry. We work in retail industry. You are telling me airline industry. Are you getting my point here, everyone? Yes. To make it relevant, we need to know all these things. Another important factor many trainers may forget to consider is a time. How much time you have? Generally, we say, okay, 90 minutes block I have. In 90 minutes, I may want to take, tell the concept for, say, for example, for 20 to 25 minutes and remaining time I have it for case study. So you don't have hours to do a case study. And Generally, it is a very time bound. We say, okay, now your time is for reading, analyzing the case. So I will give you 12 minutes to read and analyze the case. Okay, keep your pointers ready. Then after those 12 to 15 minutes, now you get into the group and now you discuss the solutions. Now you discuss what is your learning. Now you discuss what is this case is all about. And then after that, briefing. That, okay, what every group is saying about that case. So, again, there is a 20-25 minutes every month. And then, again, the briefing that is from that model, from that what message I want to drive. So, it takes time. So, understand one thing. Developing the case study, designing the case study, and facilitating the case study, it's a different skill altogether. Clear, everyone? Today, we are focused only on developing the case study. Okay. Now, what are the things we must know? What is the model you want to train them? What message you want to give? And for that, we need to have an understanding of industry, participants, jobs, as much as possible, everyone. And as I said, very important, their language is also very important. Designations are very important. Time availability. Once you know the time availability, then you can decide the length of the case. Well, then how long, how big case you want, how much in depth case you want, number of participants. Then I decide, okay, how many people are there? Do I want to give five different case studies or do I want to have one case study by everyone? So that number makes a difference. Till here, everyone is with me. Are you getting insights, right? So this is the homework, everyone. Now, once you do the homework, right? How can I get this information? How can I get this information? Client themselves will give you. Like for example, I before the training program, sometimes I have one more round of meeting with my clients and ask them the scenarios. Give me some scenarios. Give me some scenarios. Right, like for example, the upper now, what should I say? Uh, they are very senior leaders, but you know, now new joinees are coming and they feel new joinees are lazy, and this is what is happening, you know. And the thing is, this high attrition is happening because of they are not satisfied. Now, develop client has given you the scenario, 
क्लाइंट विल गिव यू सिनारियो यू हैव टू डेवलप द केस मेक सेंस एवरीवन मुकेश अनुज लक्षित राइट क्लाइंट्स नाउ लेट मी टेल यू स्टेक होल्डर्स समटाइम्स क्लाइंट सेज पर ना आई डोंट नो बाबा व्हाट दे डू बिकॉज़ दिस इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी सो आई से ओके कैन दे रिपोर्टिंग मैनेजर्स वन और टू मैनेजर्स कैन स्पीक टू मी दे आर द स्टेक होल्डर्स सो यस दे अंडरस्टैंड द जॉब दे विल स्टार्ट गिविंग यू इनसाइट्स okay like for example they will say in the layman's language and as a as a trainer you have to be very very you have to have a great listening skill what language they are using you know for example i was working with one of the pet delivery services that means these people used to deliver their dogs cats pets to different locations different cities another country they used to say you know aparna pet parents are so very emotional and now my delivery people go and give the dog like this and right? i where is the empathy in that no are you getting my point here every client is giving you a lot of information here stakeholders google you can always google about that industry you know this is fourth point is very important is job descriptions get the jds of those people every jds are the great source to get the information about people mohit is also here mohit conducts a lot of corporate meetings with me and mohit will understand recently you know i conducted the training we asked for the jds and on the basis of jds we develop their case studies okay because we understand this job is supposed to do what okay and that is where we get to know what kind of targets they have like for example even they are they call it like asms area sales manager tsms territory sales managers ye language bhi important hai and then i say there is one person called ashok who was working as asm really was handling the team of 15 Collection people, ha 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 ha. कहाँ से आ गया ये सब? Client से आया. From where I got to know? From JD I got to. And this TSM ASM is supposed to also conduct the training program, but they don't have time. They always keep on saying they don't have time for this. What should I be do? Business or conducting trainings? That's a part of your JD, by the way. Yes. So I get to know their jobs, which helps me to develop the case study. i hope you are not tired yet because it's a process everyone right it's a process then what happens then you go to website website on website you will get to know clients what they are into what kind of clients they have you can use one client name also there suppose my client's name is for example say you know baby samsung and i say okay you got to order from samsung And TSM is saying this, whereas ASM is not agreeing, and the collection guys are facing different problem altogether. Are you able to connect the dots? I can see Lakshy smiling, Mukesh smiling, because this non-verbal cues gives me that you have a movement here now. We are able to connect the dots here now, right? And then use your creative mind. What do I mean by that? Understand. Sometimes case study writing is like a story writing. and you have little freedom as a writer as a author to use your creativity okay so let's go back and connect the dots everyone what is it that we said we said when you are crafting the customized you know content what are the things you should know message and model understanding of industry participants job think about the time availability think about the length of the case you want to have number of participants then we said what we said sorts of case study right if you want to develop the content you also need you know you also need the content for it who will provide the content what will be the source of case study content speak to clients directly stakeholder analysis go on google 
get the information, look at the JDs, go on website and use your creative mind. So that is the source. Now, once you have all these things on paper, everyone, now we will follow one process. Okay. So now let me give you an example here. For example, the here message is time management. Clarity, hai? Anuj, Alangshita, let me know. If it is a clarity, I want participants to put C in the chat box. Please put C in the chat box so that I get to know that. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful, Smita. Yes, Ashwin. So, message is time management. To develop that message, I want people to use 4D model. Do, delete, delegate, right? So, that 4D model I want to use. Is everyone clear on this? Now, you may not know that model. It is okay. You don't have to need. I'm just giving you the example. Understanding of the client. What is the understanding of the client? Say, for example, industry is an edutech. Okay, what are the participants? They are all first-time managers from sales department. <laughs> now let's bring these points together. And how much time is available with me? 30 minutes, maybe. Length of the case I've decided, one, one and a half page, not more than that. Because reading, analyzing, it takes time. And number of participants are 20. So all the points are there with me now. Now, what is the next step? The next step is everyone, is this. Industry, message, job, problem, character, discussion, questions. These are the pointers we all need to develop now. Industry, model, job, problem, characters, discussion, question. Let me take it take you through this. Make it easy for you. Industry is edutech. Model 4D. Job sales. What is the problem? New promotion, not able to manage the time. This problem I want to take. Is everyone clear? Now what is the character? Character is like a, in a story you have to take some name. Let me tell you when I was doing my MBA, I, you know, I struggle to keep it in mind, those foreign names. If there are two, three people, one Alexander, another Julian, third one is maybe someone else. My mind always into your Julia. What is it? Alexander? So, you know, I'm very specific that when I'm conducting the case studies in Indian context, I will keep the characters Indian. So my people should not waste time in that Alexander and all these things <laughs> make sense. So I keep it very Indian names. Ramesh, Suresh, all these names are still good for me. Okay. Because my, my objective is not to remember the names, but to drive the message. So I've developed the character. Character name I've taken is a Sakshi. New role. She has gone into new role. Now there is, she's facing anxiety. And now what is happening? There is an impact on her for, for performance. Are you getting my point? Now, this is the character I have developed. What are the discussion questions I want to have? So, Sunita is a name. I think this is a, there is a mistake. Help Sakshi to manage time management using 4D model. Clear, everyone? Now, let's consolidate everything. You need to now develop the case around this. What is it? Just have a look at it. Companies edutech. Let's give a name to the company. For example, ProTouch. Location. Delhi and CR. Think that whether the company is a new startup or, you know, it has got a legacy, then you say, okay, it's a startup. Eight years old company. How's the culture of the company? Culture is open culture sales-driven organization. Employees are around 90 to 100. Now you have to build on this, everyone. Right? Protest is a Delhi NCR-based company. Was functioning since eight years. Right? It's a no more a startup, but certainly has a culture of startup. 
there are around 100 employees are working. It's a sales job, uh, sales driven company. In this company, sales job designation is program advisors or career advisors. Are you getting my point? Major job is to call people and they also call it as an inside sales people. Hello, are you getting my point here, everyone? What are we doing? We started developing on edutech. Right? Ashwin, get as much as information possible. That is better. As much as. So right now what I have done, I have taken one paragraph has to be on company. Second is all jobs. Now third, what happens? New promotion, team management, training. What is happening? Sakshi recently got a promotion. Sakshi was very happy to receive that promotion. But that happiness did not leave for a very long time because she started facing the anxiety. Anxiety of a new role. Because earlier she was only responsible to do her own job. Now she's also supposed to take care of someone else's job. And team management training, team management training, reporting, calling for team members, new meetings, you know, meetings, these all additional roles got added. And then she realized my salary has increased, but along with that, my work has increased. And along with that, 24 hours have not increased. On top of it, she also had a family responsibility because she recently got married. And she was supposed to give a lot of time for family. Am I making sense, everyone here? How we are connecting the dots here, everyone, from the industry to the sales job, to the new role, and, you know, how it is. Right? And now we are bringing Sakshi to the 4D model. Right, everyone? And let me tell you, you know, I actually looked at the JD... And then I said, okay, this is the JD of my, this particular job. Let's have a look at this, but I will show it to you, JD also. This is how companies give you the JDs. This is the job, right? Then in JD, the company background is also given. Just change the names, you know? So we don't want to show it as, as it is their own company. But what are you doing? You are changing the company names and all. JD becomes very important. Right? And this is how it is. And then you can also develop, build the character of Sakshi. Sakshi, young girl passing out of IIM. Getting my point? Want to do, have a lot of aspirations to do. Is ko kya the character build. Go in depth. Give the description of the character. Give the description of company. Give the description of character of Sakshi. Give such a way that participants able to see their jalak in that. Are ye to meri case hai. Right? And I'm telling you, you ask my fellow participants, they most of the time say, Madam, ye to information leak ho gai hai. Main bolti hu, kaise leak ho gai hai? Then the person say, ye to hamari case study. <laughs> right? From where did you get this? We, we had a very nice training for one of the great financial institution in India. Uh, there was a merger and acquisition was happening. And they said, Madam, these are the emotions we are going through right now. Like a feeling like an orphan. I don't know which company will come and take us. Different people are coming and seeing us, our property. And we don't know tomorrow I'm going to work with someone else, other company. Are you getting my point here, everyone? So case building is more detailed. And that's why I say it is an art. It is an art and it requires time. It requires time, everyone. Okay? It requires a lot of time. Let me show you something. And then uh, if I have that with me, uh, you know, I will open it for you and... Uh, if I can show it to you, some of the case studies which I developed. Okay, here, Dr. 
then let me see how let me show you this case study which we develop okay and actually this case study was developed in the similar way this was for the trainers participants were trainers so now we give balancing act of sarika right see sarika we develop the case study here everyone and we also gave the see can you see this model and we said now put sarika's job in different quadrants of time management and they did this case study wonderfully right and believe me this entire case study was developed by me and if you want we can also send this case study for you okay ha earlier how i used to do earlier i used to write and do it yes everyone now you have a technology with you but that technology also need a intellect you just cannot go on chat gpt and write develop the case study on posh develop the case study on time management is that fine now let's use chat gpt but let's use it intellectually is that okay with everyone would you like to see how you can use a chat gpt to develop the cases i want to get your answers in the chat box everyone so that i will get wonderful right great so now sometimes we put the jd full jd in the chat gpt also okay or sometimes we also write it here so now whatever was our this thing right what we write pro touch edutech company please don't look at my spellings right now okay because i am typing too fast so your objective is not to look at the spelling mistakes but <laughs> see how you okay so pro touch is a edutech company okay like startup so i'm giving little heads up here right very important points startup have say for example 90 employees sales driven organization everyone is fine with this right now what is it that we want to say it is delhi based organization fine now what we say that okay sakshi recently got promotion and all she was working with or she is working with in sales department she recently got married her work increased she was supposed to perform for herself and also lead the team ab hum log ye raw language mein dal rahe hain it's a very raw language right we are not looking so much but whatever was written there we are trying to put it here right was also leading the team then sakshi started facing or sakshi was facing time management problem right now here we say please develop the case for corporate training to train on 4d model of time management right for example i have written this now let's see what comes out but whatever is the first draft please remember that will not be right you know again you have to work on it here i will also say like for example the case study should be of of 1000 words kindly use the above mentioned narrative let's see what comes out fingers cross enter maru 
Yes or no? Show me thumbs up, then only I will put enter. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Thumbs up. Okay, I hope I will not um, uh, fuse the technology here. Let's see what comes out. And there is a possibility it won't give any answer. Okay, it's a possibility. So it might be processing right, right now. I'll stop sharing and I will also do it because sometimes internet becomes, you know, uh, slow also. So let's see what comes out here. So it is still thinking everyone. Hmm. It has started working, but quite slow right now. Let me do one thing. Let me also again put it if I get it. It is going slow right now, but it is coming out. Let's see. I'll, I will show you the screen once again here. Let's see how it is coming out. See, now this is just built up on this. Right? Protest Edutech, a dynamic Delhi-based startup, is renowned for its innovative approach in education sector. It has picked up like that. But has it helped me to build the story? Certainly, yes. Right? Definitely. Certainly, yes. With sales-driven workforce compri comprising 90 employees, the company thrived on it dedication and efficiency and its team members. However, like any other growing organization, challenges arise, especially in the, the you know, in the realm of time management, right? Now, now this has started talking about this case study dwells into. I don't want this line. When I will take it, I will remove it, everyone. Are you with me, everyone? So we have to be very particular. This technology will give you, but we have to develop accordingly. We have to design accordingly. See, now they have started working on Sakshi's character building. That is Sakshi, diligent member of sales department at ProTouch. Recently tied a knot and found herself juggling the demo. Wah, 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 wah. See how it has come out really well. But understand, technology also works very well if you give the right inputs. Make sense, everyone? And for that, you don't need a great English and all. You need that map which we have seen. Right? And I will use, re, re, remove the word background and all. I want to make it in a story format. Right? And then you will have one and a half page case study like this. Mm -hmm. I hope you have got a lot of insight. It, still, it is building up. Once it comes out, I will tell you. In the meanwhile, let me know if you have any, any questions. Uh, any any questions? Kanna, I huh. had a question. Uh, firstly, hmm. thank you so much. This is extremely helpful. Uh, sorry, I've got a bad cold, so my voice isn't. Uh, hmm. I, the question was that you talked about the job description, which is very critical. Uh, just wanted to understand from your experience, uh, do the learning and, you know, the HR fraternity, do the, are they open about sharing the JDs? Yes. They okay. will give you the JDs once your order gets fixed. Okay, so they don't you resist. Won't believe I have taken even the competency mapping maps from them. Oh, okay. Yes, and they give it to you, everyone. And you know uh, why I'm saying because this is the one thing which Mohit and me handled the client recently, right? And they gave us an entire thing. In fact, they asked us to develop the assessment on the basis of learning as well as competencies. Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. And that is what is the trust you need to build. And in fact, I have always seen my experience with my clients is like, you know, uh, they love such kind of trainers because they know they are going to make it very relevant. Right. And okay. suppose if you don't get that now, I still go on their website and in under hiring and career, <laughs> I will get that. So I will not leave it from there. So I will go there. So you have to find out the sources. Right. No, thank you so much. Very, very helpful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Any other question anyone has, let me know, everyone. Network error has happened. I really don't know why. Okay. I will still try once again. Regenerate, I will say. 
Okay. Any other question anyone has? Please let me. Okay, Aparna, once we get this uh, case study from the chat report, so we'll have to again work on it, make yes. it uh, yes. event. Okay. 100%. So we will see chat GPT is also gives sometimes very funny way. Like they give a solution also. Right. And what I keep ready, I want to share that with you that any case study, whatever I have, I keep two copies with me. One is my copy and another is, uh, say, for example, participants copy. Uh, what is my copy? My copy will also have the solutions in that. So my time is not going in that. And participants also wants to know, Baba, answer kya is how whether we have done right or wrong. So what will you do? So in that, what I do, I keep two copies ready. One is participant, one is solution. And I also give solutions to participants afterwards. Okay. Because uh, whatever it is, smart goal setting case can be there. Any other case study can be there. But I'm very clear that I give them two copies that is, you know, what is the solutions for that? Is that fine? Right? So, you know, solution building also, you have to be very careful. Like uh, scenarios are also should be very particular. Okay. Let me see if something has come now. Yes. Let me see. Now I will show it to you, everyone. And then we will see how case has been built. And use technology. No problem. No problem. But... Very important, use it diligently, use your intelligence. So now can you see this, everyone? Protege Edutech company, which you have seen, challenge, Sakshi, uh, you know, struggles face pro professional and today's fast-paced corporate environment. Despite of her, uh, her talent, dedication, she found the challenging balancing her personal commitments and demands the road. Now this is the 4D model, right? So 4D model. If this case come to me, I will not give it like this. I will copy paste this and I will enhance her challenge. What are the things she had to do, right? She was supposed to take one-on-one -on -one with one on one team. She was supposed to do, you know, a presentation. Then at home, what are the responsibilities? So I will build on that challenges. And now you will say, okay, now this is the task of Sakshi. Put it in 4D model. Right, everyone. So even though Chad GPT, GPT can help you to build a flow, English, they will also build. But you have to build up on that once again. And then they say, okay. So like, for example, current recently I conducted the training on microfinance. Where drivers, conductors, autowalas, those people who do not get loan anywhere, they come to take the loan. Now I had to build the character of those customers. But if I don't understand who are your customers, how will I get to? Then they said, I said, okay, how your customers comes to you? Then they said, there are two types of customers we have. I said, how? One are walk-ins and one are our executives go to customers place. And when they are walking in, we have upper hand. So we are the kings and queens here. But when we go there, customer is as upper hand. So now the sales calls changes. But how will you get to know all this? I have never worked in microfinance companies, but I'm a trainer. So you get to know from stakeholder, clients and everyone. Right? Think about it, everyone. And then you customize it. But one thing is very clear. You will not be able to customize it if you have not in done enough research. And chat GPT is also very Western. They don't give you the Indian kind of a scenario. And Indian kind of scenarios are very important. Now, microfinance ka koi hai employee. He is going to rickshawala. He cannot be some Alexander. <laughs> right? So you have to make it very, very crisp there, everyone. Right? Yes. Uh, Ashwin, you have raised the hand. In the meanwhile, I would just would like to share everyone. I'm sharing one link in the chat box. You know, I will be very thankful to you if you can share your experience on this link. Okay. And uh, those who will share the experience on this link, 
our team will share this deck with all of you, whatever the deck is there, along with the Sarah's case study of time management. Is that okay? That is one small token of love I can share with all of you if you can give us some kind of experience sharing. Okay. Yes, Ashwin, your question, please. Uh, so, ma'am, my question was, uh, if the case demands, are we allowed to actually put in uh, infographics and perhaps some graphs yes. as well? Yes, 100%. 100%. Okay. That makes it more so creative, it have to especially with case studies and all. Hmm? Okay. Hmm? Correct. No, so, I mean, it doesn't have to necessarily be just textual, right? It can be with infographics yes. and graphs 100%. just to... You you can, you can, 100%, you can give that. Okay. In fact, that becomes more and more creative, right? So you can give okay. if possible. That is perfect. Fine. There are some case studies also you get it ready-made, but with the solutions. So with the solutions, you cannot give the case studies. Absolutely. Again, you have to edit as a trainer and let them know what is the problem. Like we used one case study of, say, BMW that, when they were they they had an aging workforce, mm, right? Mm. And uh, their job was majorly standing and doing a lot of work on assembly line. And they had no youngsters joining. So how they can make their job better, how they can make their health better, that was a case study. So we but we had to tweak that case study. But then we mm. took some pictures of BMW's uh, assembly line and all somewhere and made it more uh, effective case study. Understood. Great. Thank so, you, yes, yes, Lakshit, over to you. Hi, ma'am. Ashwin, without, uh, I, I would mm -hmm. like to, as you are there face to face with me, uh, I would like to express my gratitude for such a wonderful email which you have sent it to us and to my team. I mean, after this uh, lot of efforts, when you get to see such kind of kind words, it certainly makes my day and protest day also. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Yes. Lakshit, over to you. Yes, ma'am. So I wanted to ask something, ma'am. In what sort of trainings do you use case study as a method for activity? Like, uh, do you decide, like, from your experience, like, uh, what factors do you consider, like, after you, after the client meeting has done, like, what prompts you to use case study as an activity for a training session? I think that's a wonderful question. Um, as you know, you are also done a course from, uh, you know, ProTouch. Yes. And uh, certainly you know how to, what is the models we follow. Absolutely. So I I have one thing that every block, I need to have a different activity. That is, I'm very clear. I will never repeat the activity. So variety of activities should be there. And then I have to find out where the lot of thinking, simulation needs to happen. Like, for example, if I want to have a customer or sales Something like customer negotiation. I will not have case study. I will have role play there. Okay. And I think this is like a film director's job. You need to understand which plot you need to use where. That's a designer's job, right? And, that is, and suppose there is something called I want to have innovative thinking, problem solving, critical thinking. That time I will use a case study. Okay. okay? That is very important. So in variety of this, I always give one case study. But ma'am, even participants, we, we have to look, right? Like what kind of uh, crowd we are dealing with, whether or not directed yes. with that particular knowledge to read a case and then comprehend No problem, Lakshit. Can you find out a video case study? Ashwin is an example right now. He's oh, sitting yes. here, right? Okay. So can we put the video there? Oh, yes, make, awesome. You know, for example, I have delivered the training programs for even workers, blue collared people, right? Mm -hmm. People who can't sometimes read and write. I showed them the videos of movies and I said, now tell me what has happened in this. Now let's discuss. And very, we get surprised with that. Okay. Right. So I will take the last question from Hema and then we may end the session every month. Yes, Hema, over to you. I just wanted to know, uh, these case studies are built uh, based on some concept, right? So yes. you deal with the concept first and then uh, help them yes. do the case study or you do the case study and then provoke no. the thought process and then... Yes. No, I always tell the them the concept first. Concept okay. first. Because concept application happens. Okay. How are they applying the yeah. concept there, right? That is very important. 
So always stay in the concept because in training, the flow is always concept, activity, debriefing. In that, I will add one more. Concept, applying, application or the activity, learning and debriefing. So this is the model every training falls. Okay, thank you. Okay, everyone. So it is almost eight past 12. Uh, I hope that, you know, because this was a very niche. It is, this webinar is not for everyone, right? So I hope there are many existing trainer, aspiring trainer, passionate trainers are here. Uh, thank you so much for taking out the time for me. And I hope I could contribute to your knowledge. And uh, I hope you have found it useful. Okay. I'm very thankful to all the participants who completed their post TTT two days course. <laughs> now again, they have come here. Uh, I uh, salute to your, you know, uh, appetite to learn. Uh, everyone, uh, we have a wonderful course of Train the Trainer. Um, I'm very glad to share that my team recently just now mentioned me that the, there is one batch is starting on 28th. However, that batch is full. Okay, and I'm very grateful for that, uh, that, you know, there are people who have already taken admission for 20th. There is another batch is starting on 13th April, am I right? 13th May. First May. Huh? First of May. First May, right? So there is another batch of train the trainer starting on 1st May. If anyone has any interest, any doubt, please let us know. We are here to solve your questions, uh, along with Train the Trainer, uh, ProTouch is also into uh, Posh Train the Trainer, coaching, HR generalist, HR analytics. If you have any questions around those topics, those courses, please let us know. I'm also here with Rahul Sethi and my team is also here. We will would love to have your questions if you have any. So Dr. Aparna, I mean, no questions, but then I just wanted to, uh, with in front of everyone, say that the reason why we have this appetite is because of the way you took care of us the last two days. We felt no strain in our brain, even though it was a very content, data-driven, heavy module that we all underwent. So hats off to you. Uh, and as I said, your team is extremely thorough professional. So I would definitely love to be part of all these webinars, no matter when, where, how because you're just a fantastic human being overall and what you're doing is definitely going to make a lot of impact for all of us. So thank you so much, Doctor. Thank you. I mean, thank you is a very less word. Many people like, but few people express and very, very few write and you are one of them. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Thank you. Okay. So Komal has shared the, you know, links if you have any, any details if you would like to have. Uh, let us know. If you want, you can also fix a call with us and we will have an advising session with you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.